With the holidays upon us, Politico magazine wanted to offer our own package of delights, the most memorable moments of this year's historic political circus, captured in viral gifs and memes. From Nancy Pelosi's literal clap back at the President's State of the Union address to the painfully earnest dance that somehow captured the whole vibe of Pete Buttigieg's candidacy, we attempted to catalog the best, or at least the most emblematic, digital moments of 2019. The Mueller retort it may seem like a lifetime ago, but former special counsel Robert Mueller's testimony before Congress about his investigation occurred halfway through the year, in July. And while it may not have changed many minds in Washington, it did give us one memorable meme, after being accused of having perpetuated injustice by Trump defender Rep. Louis Gohmert, Mueller responded dismissively, story continued below, I think the one thing this day has given us is, I take your question, as a way to respond to any question we don't want to respond to. Josh Barrow tweeted. It's the new, by Felicia, wrote Jonah Goldberg, or the new, bless your heart. Senator Kamala Harris's chief of staff, wrote. I take your question, is a great burn that I don't quite understand but will now adopt whenever anyone yells at me on Twitter. It was hard to pick the best, from this orb queen, Marianne Williamson to Bernie Sanders mocking John Hick and Luber mocking Bernie Sanders. But the winner was Senator Cory Booker's reaction to former Representative Beto O'Rourke's use of Spanish in the first debate. High hopes in September, a reporter shared a clip of Buttigieg campaign volunteers performing a choreographed dance to the panic at the disco song, High Hopes, team at Pete Buttigieg showing off their dance moves early this morning ahead of today's. Pick.twitter.com slash Zeiser's 9A, Rachel Scott at Rachel V. Scott September 21, 2019 and it turned out that it wasn't the only instance of his campaign doing the routine. Meanwhile, during the Me Every Morning during Emperor Pete's fourth term in office to do the mandatory morning dance to our new national anthem pick.twitter.com slash vt3cxyjcw asterisk folk intensifies asterisk at tincture drone in November 19, 2019, I want nothing after Ambassador Gordon Sondland testified in November before Congress, gracing us with his own memeable face, President Donald Trump walked out of the White House to speak to the media, and some cameras caught glimpses of his notes, written with giant Sharpie marker. It could have been a moment straight out of Veep. Some folks on Twitter observed that Trump's notes resembled song lyrics, and people quickly delivered a plethora of cover versions of this year's newest hit, inspired by a Patton Oswalt. Here's Trump's notes as if Morrissey wrote them into song, performed by me pick.twitter.com slash mk5wvwzm, up at the flying B button dice on, at Victory Road, November 20th, 2019 Somebody on Twitter today, Trump's weird hand scrawled denial today sounds like a Ramon song. Me, pick.twitter.com slash minds oeom, Alex Climent at South Sasha, November 21st, 2019 Emo Trump recites poem on White House lawn pick.twitter.com slash rad3xrjx4l, Nick Lutzko, at Nick Lutzko, in November 20th, 2019 the Greta stare down when Trump entered a lobby in September at the United Nations General Assembly in New York, caught on camera behind him was Greta Thunberg, a 16-year-old climate activist, staring him down. The moment was instantly memed, and it gave rise to a 1,100-word artistic analysis in the New York Times magazine. Julian Castro summarized the moment more directly, tweeting, I think a lot of us can relate. And CNN commentator Anna Navarro tweeted, We are all Greta. The SOTU clap Pelosi became the queen of condescending applause in February, when a fleeting moment of the speaker's seemingly sarcastic clapping during Trump's State of the Union speech caught the world's attention and prompted its own digital applause. The memer-in-chief Trump is something of a meme warrior. His creations in 2019 ranged from absurd to confusing to juvenile to copyright infringing, and many had a tendency to backfire, much like the attempts of his meme-loving son.
but on at least on one occasion, the president made such effective use of an old meme that Nickelback, the Canadian rock band whose music it appropriated, asked for it to be taken down. Trump posted a short clip of the first few seconds of the band's music video for the song, Photograph, edited to include a picture of the Bidens on a golf course with a Burisma board member. A screenshot of Trump's deleted tweet Can a candidate be ruined by memes? No one embodied the year in gifts and memes, not for a single moment but for an entire body of work, more than Kamala Harris. In October, her press secretary created a viral misfire of meme-making when he photoshopped his boss in the place of Trump in an image of Nancy Pelosi staring down the president at a White House meeting. Kamala 2020 is over, but the work goes on, the cause endures, the hope still lives and the memes will never die. Bell asked if the multitude of Kamala is a cop memes, which took aim at her record as a prosecutor, contributed to the demise of her campaign. Kamala is a cop meme, Twitter screenshot via Jezebel We might not see any more of Harris on the campaign trail, but with one endlessly reusable label gift that shows no sign of dropping out of our digital lexicon, we can wave goodbye to 2019 and look forward to even more memeable moments to come in 2020. The top gif of the year what was, literally, the no. One political gif of 2019. We asked GIPHY, a popular online gif database, which told us that these perplexed and horrified reactions from an Italian translator in the Oval Office in October were the year's most shared political gifs. At one point, Trump said of Syria, they've got a lot of sand over there. So there's a lot of sand they can play with, let's block ads.